Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osar, founder of Fitness Education Seminars and developer of the Integrative Movement System. Thanks so much for joining us on this edition of Fitness Insider. We're going to talk about hip centration and specifically how to activate the psoas. The psoas is an important muscle for developing hip centration. And we don't have good centration of the hip, the psoas doesn't work so well to help keep help keep the hip centrated in the socket. So again, the psoas attaches to the lesser trochanter here. So when it activates and pulls, it centrates the femoral head within the acetabulum as the hip goes into flexion. For example, when we bring our knee up towards our chest, when we're walking, and the activities like squatting. However, a lot of our clients have overactivation of the TFL rectus femoris. So they preferentially recruit those muscles rather than the psoas. So I'm gonna show you a very easy technique to help clients start to get preferential recruitment of that psoas. Because again, the psoas should fire with the deep muscles, transverse abdominis, pelvic floor, diaphragm, to help centrate that femoral head. So again, what Sarah's gonna do is put her feet up against the wall so she's relatively at a 90-90 position. What I want her to do is palpate her rectus femoris and TFL here to make sure that these muscles stay relaxed as she goes through the hip flexion phase. So I want her to start to breathe, breathe down into her lower abdomen, breathe into her sides, do a slight transverse abdominis activation. She's gonna lift her leg off the wall and basically just initiate lifting her leg off the wall and barely lift her leg so that she starts to engage that psoas without engaging the rectus femoris and TFL. As she goes up higher with her leg, those muscles should start to take over and help lift the leg. However, the initiation of the motion should come from the psoas. So Sarah's gonna monitor to make sure that she's not over recruiting these muscles. So again, we want the psoas to initiate activation of hip flexion without the superficial muscles working. So then she can go through hip flexion, whether she's lifting her knee up towards her chest, squatting, walking, and other functional activities. That's how you start to create better centration without overusing those muscles that we t t tend to be very tight through, TFL rectus femoris. I hope this video served you. I hope it helped you. Be sure to check out our, our other resources on fitnesseducationseminars.com. And if you're looking for a more specialty, look at our certification, the Integrative Movement Specialist Certification. Thanks so much. This is Dr. Evan Osar with Fitness Insider. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.